Hi everyone, Cinder here. Welcome back to Last Dream World Unknown as... See, here's the purple crystal formation. These spikes are down. We get some emerald shoes out of that and an emerald shield. Cool. Large shield crafted from emerald crystals. Take that. And emerald shoes. Hmm. Because of the mercenary shoes, we, uh... Really don't need the emerald shoes. I'd like Gwen to have the heavier armor. She loses a little bit of preemptiveness because the adamantium boots are are more heavy, but she has so much preemptiveness as it is that I want her to have a little more defense. So I'm okay with her wearing some heavier armor. Um, we can keep those, and we can uh, we can craft with them though, and turn them into something maybe the characters will use. Okay, with that, I think that does it here, so I got into another fight, I didn't need to. No green dragon scales though. So here's the plan. <laughs> We're gonna warp. Good, it took us to this side. <laughs> and we're gonna see if the switches and, and things stayed the same. Or if it resets. Alright, Thunder 7. Super critical, super critical! That way you all have this information to see if stuff stays the same or not. Let's see, did we go all the way over here? I don't remember. Let's see where all this takes us. Yep, so it does stay the same. We can flip that switch now. Um, there was still a treasure chest that I missed in here. That was not open. So I'm not sure exactly where that is. So, uh, tell you what, I'm gonna do a quick cut here. When you come back, we may be level 70, depending on how long it takes for me to find... To find stuff. There must have been some... Some ways I did not take. Um... But I'm gonna go look for that, that treasure chest that was not open, see if I can find it, and um, either way, I will meet you back in town now that we've pretty much explored this place. And um, which town? That's, the, that's a good question. Hmm. Let's go back, because I didn't see a way to craft back in uh, court, I may have missed it. I'm gonna head back to Rockwood. The, the starting town. We're gonna uh, go to the synth uh, synthesize. We're gonna look at the recipes, and then we'll walk back to we'll walk back to court. Sounds like a plan. So if I find the treasure chest, I'll just tell you what was in the treasure chest. So either way, I'll see you back in Rockwood. Okay, here we are back in Rockwood. Let's have some fun. I didn't see the uh, synthesized cost. <laughs> this is gonna be expensive. Still haven't found the Dracomancers. Ah, where are they? We went, we went in both the... The cave, the abandoned tunnel, and... The, um... And the Frozen Tower. I was trying to think of the name of the tower. Frozen Tower. Still haven't found one. 
Still haven't found any Dracomancers. Sad. Um, yeah, 50k, but we could sell some additional stuff. Still haven't found the Cockatrice Beak. We don't have Emerald Armor. Or Emerald Robe, for that matter. Can make the shield hat. I found desert hybrid. They look like uh, chimeras. You can find them in the desert. Just walk around. I found them uh, walking back here. Does not show up as much as the other enemies. Also, I found bulls. They're like winged bulls. I think is what they're called. Also in the desert. Uh, just outside of court. Check there. Um, again, they didn't seem to show up as much as the other enemies, so. Can make a golden helm. A helm that increases the gold earned for, uh, gold earned for each battle. Ha! <laughs> awesome. 57 defense, 43 magic defense. See the classes that he can use it? Um, I don't know how that compares to the emerald helm I'm using now. No emerald robes. We have emerald cloak, but no Dracomancer staff. Can't make as much as I thought I could. <laughs> More of it uses the uh, Dracomancer stuff than I thought. Can turn enemies into zombies. Could be useful. A whip that restores some 25 MP a turn. Yes. Sword that reduces an enemy's MP by 25. A dagger that can jinx the enemy. What's this one do? Dagger that increases attack power. Aw, oh, see, I bet the Savage Dagger is going to be better than my Jinxing Knife. That's sad. No, you never know. You never know. I just never have really good luck with status effects. Um, hopefully it's useful. <laughs> Let's see. Still need the... We have a lot of Gecko Tails. <laughs> Can make the golden helm. We'll have to compare it defense wise. 57 defense, 43 magic defense. I need a. Well. Okay. Unequip it then. Each one is its own. <laughs> there we go. 5238. 52-38. Oh, it gives more defense and is slightly more defense and it increases the gold we earn for each battle. That's cool. Could end up paying for itself. A golden helm. Shield hat. A mysterious hat that increases defense. So, 70 defense, 60 magic defense. I assume it's better than the emerald hat. So, we're going to go ahead and use use that and make this. And we want to make the zombifying bow. 68, 730. Probably stronger than the emerald, I would think. We can find out. Sixty-four, seven, twenty-six. Sixty-four, seven, twenty-six. Yeah, so it's a little bit better, and it has a chance to turn the enemies into zombies. Which, if that happens, I wonder if they become weak to holy and fire. <laughs> if so, that's really cool. But yeah, go ahead and make it. We say, "Wow, you spent a lot of money there, Central." Yes, but now we have golden helmet. <laughs> Zombifying bow. Oh, just because Finn was wearing the emerald hat, just automatically put the shield hat on her. So, should be a, a strong upgrade defense-wise, which that'll be useful. We don't have an emerald cloak for either of those. We don't have another... Can't make any of the others. Still! Still, that's cool. 
They're saying, we spent a lot of money. That is that is true. But we also have a lot of stuff we can sell. <laughs> we can sell a lot of the gecko tails, a lot of the worm intestines, some of the spectral eyes. I'll sell everything above 50. So we'll sell six spectral eyes, 16 worm intestines, and a bunch of gecko tails. Because you can fight, fight that enemy in a really... In, really big uh, groups and we'll see how much that gets us yeah everything above 50 that way we keep the uh, keep the rest of the things we have sell excess above 50 and we get a hundred and one K for that that we for what we just said I uh, that I sold all the gecko tails, a few spectra eyes. There you go. They say we're, we're good again. We're all right again on cash. Most potent fish will ignore standard hook and bait can only be caught using a fishing spear. Which I need to... <laughs> need to work on getting because I would like to fish. <laughs> Alright, I'm feeling, feeling good. One more surprise. On the map, as I was walking by, I saw that there were, as I was checking my map to make sure I was going the right way on the way back, because I walked around the tower just to get some more fights. Um, I ran, I saw there was a big tree there, right here. And, like, huh, wonder what's there, another tree of life? So I walk in, and it is a giant moa forest. Now I can make use of the ability of the, uh, the uh, special ability of our Beastmaster, of the Ranger, Gwyn. They can tame giant moas. What's a giant moa, you ask? It lets you walk around on the world map. You can do that anyway, Syndral. Yes, but the giant moa lets you do it without taking enemy encounters. <laughs> means you will not in have random encounters while you are walking around with the giant moa so if you just want to explore a little bit hi you can do so engage the gargantuan golem well i saved let's give it a try human shield Hamstring. Citadel for sure. So this could hit really hard. And per usual, we'll start with our handy dandy annihilation. Ah, oh, missed hamstring. Give everybody some more defense. Take almost 9k. That's why! Demolish! Ah, that knocked out Fen! <laughs> Panic! <laughs> the healer is down, panic! That's what I was afraid of. I was afraid of how much Demolish was going to do. Mana Surge? You don't have a way to heal, to bring somebody back to life. Only the White Mage can do that. Well, we've found a few Resurrection Elixirs. Use one of those. Let's give it a go. Can we get any status effects? Ah, missed Devil's Breath. Skull Bash and minus it. That's fine. You hit really hard. <laughs> Human Shield again. Hunter's Poultice. Giant. Hopefully she stays alive for a turn. Which means she doesn't get hit. Godlike. Yeah, 
little around 5 for Giant for double the HP and MP. More defense. Cleave, good, you hit me. <laughs> I can still take a hit. It's fine. Destroy armor. That's on cooldown now. That's okay. Hamstring, again. The biggest heal spell you got. <laughs> Heaven's Breath. Godlike. There we go, minus attack. That's what I want. There we go, we're okay now. <laughs> Did, did he crit with that hit defend? Probably did. Alright, now let's get started. Devastation. Reign of Death. You can't cast Heaven's Breath again, but... You can cast... Heal 4. Crumble. Boy, missed most of those. Devastation. Take 10k. Almost 11. Crumble for minus magic defense. Skull Bash, that's fine. Don't need the end anyway. Whirlwind Massacre. I hadn't learned the level 70 stuff. I was going to do that. But I wanted to do it on screen. And forgot to do that before fighting this guy. Of course I did. <laughs> Ultra scan? Just in case. I don't think he has insta death. We probably would have seen it by now. Mystical concealment. Sure. Ultra scan? Immortal? Whirlwind massacre! There's a super critical. Skull Bash. Uh, minus int to the Black Mage is bad. Uh, recast Human Shield. <laughs> it me. Rated Death is still on cooldown. Can't hamstring again. We'll do that. Holy Cleanse will remove the minus, minus 25 hint. Let's do that. Actually, no, I want to re-get, I want to get defense back up. Citadel. Mystic Concealment. Recast Godlike on me. I'm going to swing for the fences. Strength. Godlike. Ah, missed. Devastation. Not reign of death. Vigilance. Holy cleanse. Godlike Gwyn. With all that additional agility, we have a probably a way better chance to dodge now. Devastation, take almost 14k. See, evade, miss. <laughs> Whirlwind Massacre, Reign of Death. Of the party. Annihilation. Only missed one of those. 
for a win massacre. Four super criticals. That'll do it. <laughs> Alright, had to use a resurrection elixir, elixir, which is sad. But, we completed it. Everybody's standing. 2,500 gold, 27,500 EXP, 1,600 SP, and a mysterious stone. Let's head back to Rockwood. Because I need to turn these in as well. These hunts that we've been doing. It would kind of help if I went the right way. Rest at the end. Hi. Well done on defeating the enraged nightmare. Good luck on your next target. Here's your reward for defeating the target. Mercenaries Gloves, Mercenaries Gauntlets. Well done on defeating the Gargantuan Golem. Reward for defeating it is a Mercenaries Cloak and a Mercenaries Shield. Nope, I get the mercenary Shield. Dark Shield that protects against critical strikes. Like that's not just flavor text, right? Critical plus 25%. Plus 60. Does it give me more critical? <laughs> or does that mean 25% I don't get critical? Or is that just a thing of the shield? I can't be crit while I have it, and the shield gives me more critical. A dark cloak that protects against fire, ice, and thunder. Yeah, because there's no additional information there. So, yeah, it just protects. So, we'll put that to the test. See if we get critical at any time. But I get I get five more critical percent than the Emerald Shield, which is nice. Mercenary Gauntlets. Double SP gain. Ooh, awesome. You already have Mercenary Gauntlets. Double SP gain. Then take those. Because <laughs> I want to learn all the healing spells. <laughs> Remember, SP is what you use to learn skills. Uh, what else did we get? Mercenary's Cloak. Uh, protect against fire, ice, and thunder. Less death for the healer is important, but that gives Psy an Emerald Cloak. So we've upgraded from the Saint Cloaks now. I think that's it. Let's see, we got the cloak, the gloves, the gauntlets, and the shield. Yep. Savage beast that popped up in North and South Aldrin. This is long enough not to question his decisions. Let me tell you about the murderous beast that, we, that the mercenary guild is currently targeting. We've named these targets the Cyclops Spider, done that one, Psychopomp, haven't seen that one, Enraged Nightmare we've got, and the Gargantuan Golem. So we're just missing one hunt here, the Psychopomp. Would you like more information? Yes, Psychopomp. Rarely does the Mercenary Guild venture to the northern and southern reaches of the Aldrin Continents, but every mercenary is taught to avoid the Banshee's Cry. The Banshee's Cry is an omen of death, often the death of the one who hears it. One of our mercenary scouts was visiting Niche in disguise to learn more about their plans for court. While climbing the icy peaks to the south, he stumbled upon a powerful banshee we've taken to calling the Psychopomp. Although he wasn't killed by the Psychopomp's cry, the poor fellow was driven mad and strangely drained of his life force. When he arrived in Rockwood, he raved in cryptic speech about the dark cry of the night. It took us hours to decipher his words and understand what a foul being he had stumbled upon. He succumbed to the psychopomp's cry days later. 
Please avenge him and slay the Psychopomp. You'll find her in the tundra to the southwest of Niche. Once we find out how do we get how to get there, we will take a we will take a look. Cause it's not anywhere here. Is it across the sea somewhere? Maybe? That's the treasure, right? Buried treasure. Yeah, it's one of the buried treasures. Alright, once we get to Niche, we'll know how. Or Nech, however you pronounce it. Still, pretty, pretty good. Alright, we still have five resurrection elixirs, so still, still okay. Now, skills. <laughs> At level 70, Septuple Stab. Attack seven random enemies with 100% damage. It is a bigger version of Ruin Massacre. <laughs> Whirlwind Massacre also lowers my defense by 10% for 5 turns. Septuple Stab doesn't do that. It has a 2 turn cooldown, and I can't use it right when battle starts as a 1 turn warm up. 85 MP. Base damage, 1 attack multiplier, 100%. You get 100% of your attack. Uh, you have to know Crush and Whirlwind Massacre if you want to know this skill. Which I do. <laughs> Master Fisher, catch all possible saltwater fish with 25% probability and with no chance to miss. Makes fishing better. Know that enemy. 35 crit, that's awesome. Um, I really want to take some time to fish at some point, so. Sure. Holy Shield, which is a bigger Citadel, plus 50 defense and magic defense, and then 10% to the entire party, where instead of 30 and 30, then 10%. 50 and 50, then 10%. Uh, lasts for five turns. But she doesn't have the SP to learn it. And Wind 8. Doesn't have the SP to learn it, but Wind 8. <laughs> Good stuff. Septuple stab, it's expensive, but seven attacks. Now, remember, it's seven random enemies, but if there's only one enemy, you will hit it seven times because it's the only enemy to hit. <laughs> I am looking forward to using that. <laughs> it's probably just going to look like Whirlwind Massacre, except I'll get an extra hit, but I hope it's a little more fancy. It's a level 70 skill. It's it's bigger, not just like stat wise and you know where one massacre was at fifty forty something like that. Um, and some temple stab is seventy, so I hope it, it looks more fancy too. Probably not, but you never know. Okay. We need a lot more SP. <laughs> That's what I have learned. We're going to have to skip out on some skills and come back for them just because we're not going to have the SP to learn them. So we're going to have to kind of pick and choose for a little while. Like, I really would like to have Holy Shield. I would love to have Mystic Runes just because it's an extra 30 int and 150 MP, but it's expensive. We're just gonna have to kind of skip out on some stuff. May have to uh, skip out on Wind 8 for a little while if I like first cast. Cross that bridge, bridge when we get there. Okay. Yay, Giant Moa! <laughs> Fortunately, we're going to have to walk the, the rest of the way. But pretty useful, right? 
Uh, shows us where Moa is. Right there. Now we don't have to go back through the tower. We may have to take a fight or two because <laughs> I go the wrong way. A fight. Nothing we can't handle though. Ha! Huh, zombie. But you were already a zombie. Anyway. Now I wonder. Yay! That's what the whistle is for to call your giant Moa. <laughs> Yay, we can bring it over here. I kind of need to take these fights, but uh, we'll stop here. I think I have enough of the frost whoop and stuff, but I could still use maybe some things we find here in the desert, like bullhorns and things like that. So we'll take these fights. We'll go like the long way. Maybe. <laughs> Might not get into a fight. So I was over here when I fought the bulls and things. Here we go. Oh, there's cockatrice here too. How oh, interesting. There's a lot of enemies here in the desert, which isn't great for you as the player because you may have a hard time finding exactly the enemy you're looking for for materials. Like this is the first I've done a good dozen fights here in the desert. This is the first time I've seen the cockatrice. So You die first because you get, uh. <laughs> Cockatrice are known for their ability to cast petrification on. on people. Um, basically turning them to stone. Uh, this is a really nasty status effect in every RPG. Uh, if a character is turned to stone, they can't take any actions. If all the characters are turned to stone, guess what? You lost. It's game over because nobody can take an action. Um, petrification tends to last outside of battle as well, and you have to use an abil a, uh, ability or a item such as soft to remove petrification. Or is it, here's, here, here it is, it's stone. Um, just overall, it's a really bad status effect, not one you want to mess around with. By the way, here's Ice 8. Looks really cool. That did not do much to the uh, cockatrice, so I'm glad we hit. Heh, <laughs> zombie. I'm seeing the zombie status effect go off, so... Gives me some hope for the dagger. Wow, it does double. <laughs> 4,932 SP for me and Finn. And Gwen and Sai get the normal amount of SP. So, yeah, double SP. Totally okay with that. Now we have two cockatrice beaks. Ah, uh, gotta cure the poison. So there you go. Because I'm curious, <laughs> what's further south? What's this way? Um, a bridge that's broken, for one. But I'm going to travel all the way around these mountains, see if we find anything. Engineer could just tunnel over. <laughs> we'll see what enemies are over here as well. Green Dragon! Dracomancer! Well, I'm going to be grinding in this place off screen and <laughs> fighting Dracomancers. Fire, maybe, for the Green Dragon? Or it may still be weak to thunder. Thunder looks to be the way to go, maybe. Slashing bite. Ah, poison. Sorry, not poison. Sorry, bleed. Ugh, bleed is nasty. Try thunder. Super critical. That worked well. <laughs> double SP. Oh, man, I love the double SP. Totally worth doing those hard fights and getting that. Three green dragon scales and Draco Mancer staff. Monster chaser. We got an achievement there. 
By the way, uh, just as a note, all achievements in-game are achievements on Steam as well. So if you like getting Steam achievements, um, there you go. I like getting achievements. It's fun for me. <laughs> and Thunder 8. Huh, zombie. Mind meld. Oh, you drained MP, how dare you. You die now. You just barely survived, too. You didn't have that much HP left. We're gonna need quite a few Dracomancer staffs for the stuff we want to make. I am happy to find those. And the green dragons as well for some stuff. Keep casting thunder. Magical guard. Magic defense plus 10% and defense plus 10%. Do you still die to this? Yes. Good. This will help Finn get her spells. <laughs> and then we could switch switch it off at some point if another character needs needs more SP. Something's over there. Let's find out what this town is. Is this the, the uh, mean town? Hi. Scattered papers indicate that the owner is deeply in debt. <laughs> so you're in debt, huh? The history of the Aldrin Ferry it wasn't long after the founding of Rockwood and Niche that an amb ambitious family set out to bridge the divide between the two rival cities. Oh, Nish must be across the sea then. Okay. The Toman family set up dual ferries at the tips of North and South Aldrin in hopes of getting rich shuttling cargo and passengers between the two cities. Unfortunately, one of those cities has to be super mean. So Welcome to the North Aldrin Ferry. You're a sight for sore eyes. Business is slow to a crawl with the tensions between court and niche. If you're interested in riding to Southern Aldrin, please see my ferryman at the port. I would have fired him years ago for his bad attitude if I could find anyone else to work for the same wage. Their hopes never came to fruition, though. Their small ferries were never able to compete with the larger vessels that made the trip directly between Rockwood and Niche. Oh, I'm sad. North Aldrin Ferry. Three lionfish. Well, I needed that. Hi. What do you want? Another staking passenger for South Aldrin? It's 10k. No haggling. Huh, you do have a terrible attitude. Um, this is interesting. We can take the boat across and try to get, I'm gonna assume this is niche and here's where the hunt is. But if we go here, <laughs> one, are we gonna be welcome? Two, how tough is the stuff over here? For all we know, we could travel over here and decide, you know what? I don't really like goblins either. I think I'll side with Niche. Do you have options like that in Last Dream? You might have options like that here in Last Dream World Unknown as well. Just because I take one path doesn't mean... Uh, oh, overall, you know, the story will, will be the story. But how you get there is up to you. You know, to, to some degree. I'm not saying this is a completely choose-your-own-adventure game. But what I am saying is you may take a different path than I do. You may team up with Niche. That may be an awesome... That may be an option, which would be very interesting. It'd be kind of awesome to have different... You know, different options. I know in Last Dream, the game doesn't spell it out, but you get a boat at some point. 
If you're watching this, you probably played live stream. <laughs> you get a boat at some point. However, I know there are two, maybe more, different ways to get the boat. And I didn't know that till I uh, looked it up afterwards, after I beat the game, after I did the LP. Just to, you know, I was looking up some stuff, you know, oh, I'm kind of curious if, if I missed some things. And that was one of the first things that popped up was like, oh yeah, you do this, this, and this to get the boat. And then somebody else said, you know, I think it was on Steam forums, was like, no, you do this, this, and this. Well, they're both right. <laughs> <laughs> they just got the boat in different ways. At the end of the day, you still have to get the boat to continue your journey. But how you get it, there were a few different options. And there were a few options like that throughout um, Last Dream. This may be an option here in World Unknown, which would be really cool. You can take the ferry. You know, I don't like I don't like goblins. You know, even if they are trying to live in peace here. You know, forget goblins. I'm going to go join the guys at Nish. You might be able to do that. Now the question becomes, as I end this episode, what do I want to do? <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm going to fight with Court, fight with the Mercenary Guild, because I like those guys. I like them, what they, what they stand for, from what we've heard from them. And although I'm not a friend of goblins, because they like to steal my treasure, I, <laughs> being the dragon that I am, I... Uh, we'll side with them. But I might want to take a trip to the southern continent anyway. Just to take a look. Let's do that. Let's do that. It'll be, it'll be a, a curious. We'll, we'll save. And we're going to go take a journey to the southern continent. You can continue on the path. Laid out in front of you. Mercenary skilled. Go rest at the end in court. And... You don't have to do all this extra exploration that I'm doing. But I want to explore as much of this game as I can um, for all of you. And hopefully you get interested and pick up World Unknown for yourself. Because there's a lot here so far. Just like last stream. You know, there's a lot, there was a lot there. There's a lot here as well. So... I think, I think it's great. I think it's really cool. Um... But we will do that next time. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you had a lot of fun. Until the next episode where we will spend the 10,000 gold to head south and explore the uh, to explore South Aldrin. I'm Cinder89. Remember to shoot for the stars and take care, everyone. <laughs>